Every six months, 1,500 young men between the ages of 17 and 20 line up to run their hearts out. Exuberant, brimming with vitality, they run not so much for themselves, but for their individual squadrons and their mates. As the spectacle of humanity in varied hues surges forward, the rest of the world ceases to matter. For to each and every runner, they will sink or swim together in any water. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they're gone, and so hold on when there's nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. The National Defense Academy's color is a deep maroon. Its origins can be traced to the heraldic spirit of jointmanship, symbolizing the tri-service ethos of the Academy. This color forms the backdrop of the Academy's formation sign and also adorns the shoulder, garter flashes and the neckties of the cadets. It is also the color of the NDF flag. India's military history is resplendent with great names whose leadership qualities have often made the difference between victory and defeat. Since its founding half a century ago, the academy, situated under the shadow of the legendary Shivaji's fortress, Singhar, has accomplished its mission by developing cadets in four critical areas, moral ethical, intellectual, physical and military. The Sudan block, a blend of Mughal and Rajput architectural styles, dominates the sprawling 8,000 acres of the academy. Ever since the first passing out parade, the academy has become more than just an institution for the subcontinent. By the early 1990s, the NDA experience had thrown up three service chiefs from the first course itself. And yet, to judge the academy purely by the lofty military accomplishments of some would be to undermine the very existence of the institution. At virtually all levels of command, NDA alumni have led a life other than ordinary and they have more often than not come through in their moment of truth. Okay, yes. Climb from the western side wherever you can and dominate this bloody thing. Though only 8% of each course goes to the Navy, the last five naval chiefs are all products of the academy. Their zest for the sea is not limited to any one stream. Among them are a communications specialist, a submariner, an electronic warfare expert, a hydrographer and a gunner. The academy is so quickly associated in the mind with the uniformed military that it is easy to overlook its impact on other spheres. Apart from providing the major part of pilots to the Air Force, NDA alumni have played a key role in the emergence of civil aviation. Also, India's only cosmonaut is an aluminous. As each new course assembles at the academy, an entire spectrum of life in the subcontinent merges into one with uniform hairdos. The academy now aims to mold them into leaders of military men, and moral ethical development emerges as the most important cornerstone in these formative years in the life of each cadet. The course of training may appear to be severe, but in reality, it is well devised and manly. In the gymnasium, strength and agility are developed, along with the ability to resist fatigue. 
The whole syllabus is implemented in a phased manner and it ensures that every cadet leaves the academy in top physical condition. Thumb while doing horse. I can't move my thumb like this, like this, like this, like this. But you're doing it. Which thumb are you in? Four thumb, sir. No bloody shaming? No, sir. It is not this thumb. It is this thumb. Bloody hell. The spinning? Yes, sir. The core of horsemanship is the relationship between the horse and the rider. Before the cadet can do anything with a horse, he needs to earn the animal's respect. He cannot demand it, for a horse is a horse, and it is the nature of the horse to flee from danger. By its very nature, riding also personifies a basic lesson. To stumble and fall is but a stepping stone to eventual success. very basic level it's all about leadership where the cadet must learn to ride according to each horse the key to any military training is discipline which in turn is reflected best in drill to inculcate in the cadets a sense of pride in their uniforms, smartness in gait and movement, military bearing, and implicit obedience of orders. And yet, though marching in drill appears to be a major part of India's public persona, moral development and academic excellence remain the top priorities in each cadet's development. A challenging academic program that consists of three major streams provides a balanced education in either the arts, sciences, or as in recent years, computer sciences. To impart a well-rounded overview, the cadets are taught the fundamentals of cross-stream subjects. But for the first time, in 1970, China was recognized by USA. Over the ages, it has been recognized that education is a moral enterprise. The era of data, the community of peace, they compromise between the two sides. Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? Not sleeping. Similarly, and it is the duty of the educator to search for truth and virtue, and in so doing, guide those in their tutelage. Various specimens of rock which have been collected from various places. At the academy, the educator can never be a mere peddler of materials for study and of recipes for winning disputes, nor yet for promoting a career. By the mid-80s, cadets were introduced to computer fundamentals. The ground realities of modern warfare underscore the inevitable arrival of cyber warfare on the land, in the air, and on the sea. Academics account for almost 70% of the entire training curriculum of the academy. In addition to formal classroom instruction, cadets also have access to a vast array of laboratories and workshops. also boasts of one of the finest and up-to-date libraries which allow the cadet to further expand his horizons. The 15 squadrons are at the core of the academy. Administratively, it is a simple exercise in accountability. Four battalions make up the academy. 
four squadrons to each battalion except for number four battalion that has three and three divisions to each squadron from the divisions on up officers and squadron counselors must know each and every cadet his strengths and his weaknesses so i'm doing fairly well in all fields especially in pd but the main problem i am facing is in academics that is in the french department okay. i'm not being able to concentrate completely on my french the spirit the soul of the academy lies in its squadrons the bonds forged knit them together not just for the period spent at the academy but creates a brotherhood which lasts throughout their lives while at the academy they must not only strive to win at all costs but also imbibe a sense of fair play and sportsmanship a fine balance even at the best of times just keep your cool play hard come back winning the playing fields of Eton may have their place in world history, but surely the National Defence Academy's turf has in the last half century acquired its own halo. Academy teams also compete against other military academies in the annual hexagonal meet and the coveted Bakshi Cup, which sees the Indian Military Academy take on their younger NDA counterparts in a variety of events. Quite often, the IMA team of today was the NDA team of yesterday, while the boys in NDA colors today could well be the IMA team of tomorrow. In both cricket and hockey, ex-NDAs have donned the India colors. In squash, for more than a decade, the national championship remained with NDA alumni. In football, the crowning glory came in the Durand Cup when NDA was the runner-up to Mohun Bagan, leading Prime Minister Nehru to remark that while Mohun Bagan had won the cup, NDA had won the hearts of the people. In the serene surroundings of the academy, as a part of the physical program, competitive sport plays a major role in the overall development of the cadet. Each individual participates in a variety of games, competing at an inter-squadron or inter-battalion level. The colorful spectacle of whalers pulling to the coxswain's rhythm as the boats pull into Peacock Bay on the adjoining Karakwasla Lake provides the ideal setting for cadets to hone their skills in watermanship. From the Olympics to the Asian Games to World Sailing Championships, alumni of NDA have performed extremely creditably winning a fair share of medals, especially in the enterprise class. Riding events at the academy are always a top draw, which is not surprising when one considers the large number of ex-NDA riders who have garnered most of the equestrian glory at the national level over the years. At the battalion level, teams face off in one of the most demanding of sports, polo. The quest for intellectual and mental development is not always relegated to the classrooms and the playing fields. The academy offers a wide variety of activities where the cadets are encouraged to pursue their extracurricular interests through 18 outdoor and 14 indoor clubs. This broad spectrum of interests has seen NDA cadets and their alumni participate in car rallies, whitewater expeditions and various mountaineering feats including Mount Everest, Kullu Pamori and the formidable Nun and Kun peaks. The will to go on. That's what makes cross country so special. With every sinew straining in the body, the cadet must cross the finish line, if not for himself, then for the sake of his squadron and his mates. Nothing in the world except inner self-discipline and strength can push him on. For every finish is not only important, but critically vital. 
by the time the cadets enter their sixth and final term, specialist service subjects are taught to them. Naval cadets begin with the basics of navigation, communication, boat work, rigging, anchoring, observation and interpretation of flags before they master the techniques of seamanship. Gentlemen, this is the uh, model of a jet engine which is fitted in the Chetak Chita class. Air Force cadets develop skills related to aerodynamics, navigation, meteorology, airmanship, aero engines, airframes, and armaments. Select to power flight, uh, master switch on. ICS on. Instructions in flying form a major component of the training. Courage and professionalism, backed with confidence and the will to rise high, are demanded of the cadet. At the end of the final term, he would have learned the basics of navigation, aerodynamics, and have a reasonable feel of flying in the twin-seater Super Demona aircraft. All cadets learn basic military skills through demanding camps in the second and fourth terms. Camp Rover is considered by many to be the toughest camp in the world with reference to the age group of the cadets. In their final term, army cadets are further trained in tactics, map reading, weapon training, field engineering and bayonet fighting. While Army and Air Force cadets visit their various formations, naval camps are conducted to give practical experience of life at sea. End of sixth term, and the cadet has been exposed to not just the theoretical, but also the practical aspect of the service he's earmarked to join. Well, of course, you're not around ground zero, where you'll vaporize. If you're outside, you shut yourself in, you close all three cupolas. In this 24-hour leadership laboratory, as each cadet works his way through the various terms, he is shouldered with additional responsibility. The divisions within the squadron are the core organizational units. It is the crucible for experimental leadership development. Everyone models and everyone assesses. Sixth term cadets run the show, but so do fifth, fourth and third termers, each with a graded amount of responsibility. Invariably, they must motivate by example and it is but a modest beginning as military leaders. The structure, the rules, the rigidity and the conformity, that's Spartan. So much so that cadets think nothing of running up and down the Singer Fort in four hours flat. Taking into account what the SEC has to say about Kiran G Singh, his past record and the fact that he was man enough to own up to his mistake, I feel that the honor board must take a lenient view of his offense. Lying, cheating and forging should be dealt with severely and the cadet's past reputation does not excuse him. Considering the fact that you were man enough to accept your mistake, the honor board recommends 14 days restrictions as punishment. Kedjising, march out. But there's more to it. It is history. And this is how the academy sees itself. Cadets have lived this way every day for more than half a century. It is a reminder of the primacy of selflessness. Here, the individual yields to the greater whole, to the division, to the squadron, to the battalion, to the academy. आज की एक्सरसाइज का इरादा क्या इलाका 2475 पर दुश्मन है अगर है तो उस दुश्मन का फैलाव और उस दुश्मन के द्वारा इस्तेमाल किए जाने वाले ऑटोमेटिक वेपन अगर इरादा सभी को क्लियर है तो दोहराएंगे सिपाही भारती नाउ इन देयर फाइनल टर्म the cadets must perform as a unit under stress. Until now, they have faced a daunting crush of academics, sports and military activities and the cadet has come to accept 
that the only thing he can control is himself. Under fire, he cannot now ask how to do it. He just does it. Through the night, two groups per squadron have navigated their way back to the academy, covering more than 45 kilometers. His endurance tested. He must now account for his gear. Any missing item, earning the squadron negative points. West cotton, mud plastic, socks, boot polish, ground sheet, towel hand, and haversack, Uji jersey, socks, shorts, spoon, laces. Quick. Fine. The Josh run behind them. Tired limbs must now help the cadet climb, jump and crawl through an obstacle course. Like the cross-country runner, he has to stay focused and will himself to go on. For in battle, when two sides face each other through a hail of fire, the only thing that usually separates them is the quality of leadership. The academy keeps pushing you. Everyone is following and nearly everyone is leading all the time. Everyone is evaluated, if not by the system, then by your peers. Every action is taken as an opportunity to learn. Leadership, self-control, discipline. Words which keep cropping up at the academy in virtually everything a cadet does. Again, you're doing the same thing. Don't push your weapon. 60 seconds, you have to fire all those 10 rounds. The moment you fire after your time is over, you'll be getting negative points. I saw you this morning after the Josh run. I was really very, very pleased. Because physically you had come through, and more than that, your faces told me that mentally you had come out even strong. Yes, yes. Sir. This is a great bond. You know, this is something uh, that you will share all your lives. And you cannot, I cannot describe to you what these friendships would mean later in life. You know, you go to a, a, uh, a picket and you find the only other human being there within hailing distance happens to be a course mate of yours. You will walk miles to go and meet him. You know, or you hear that the chap who is coming to give you air support, you know, is a course mate of yours. The level of confidence, the strength that it gives you. of term has a special significance at the academy. The days left to go home factor mingles with the bubbling vitality of cadets activities. Habibullah Hall, the academy's spacious auditorium, sees yet another term's inter-battalion debates and quizzes come to an end. Today's academy continues to evolve constantly reassessing itself and striving to improve. Over the years, NDA has tried to balance cherished traditions with the need to educate officers for an increasingly complex world. The Academy strives to provide a solid foundation, mentally, physically and ethically, upon which each cadet can then build a lifetime of distinction and value.
बस यादे 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 रह जाती है कुछ छोटी 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 बातें रह जाती The stage from where a stream of eminent guest speakers shared their wisdom with the cadets now explodes with nostalgic entertainment programs as the academy prepares to bid a fond adieu to yet another passing out course. But before the passing out cadets move on, a final glance, a final goodbye. Inscribed in granite, encapsulated in the four walls of the hut, lies the very soul of the academy. A total of 203 cadets are graduating today. This includes 11 cadets from Bhutan, 3 Palestinian cadets and 2 from Maldives. Of these 203 cadets, 58 will receive the degree in computer science, 65 the B.Sc. degree and remaining 80 the B.A. degree. Incredible final moment of metamorphosis leading up to the final step as the boy graduates into a man. It is the end of a cadet's tenure at the academy, but it is also the beginning of a long road ahead. They have taken up the profession of arms that will see them guard the nation's frontiers, be it on land, sea or air, for the better part of the next three decades. Form under conditions that will test every sinew and nerve in their bodies. Yet in this world of uncertainties, only one thing can be certain. The NDA experience would have prepared him for any eventuality. And he will stand up for the ashes of his fathers and the temples of his gods.
वाली यादें अकेडमी की वो मीठे किस्से वो कर दे वो देखना साइंस ब्लॉक की घड़ी बार बार साहब का चिल्लाना हम पेगन कभी कदम तार वो जी एस पी एल में खतों का आना वो सोचना शायद मेरी भी हो आज वो काटना डी एल टी जी एच दिन पर हंसते हंसते गुजर गए साल गुजरना क्वार्टर डे से वो पासिंग आउट पर पलट कर देखना और गाना ये यार बस यादे 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 रह जाती है कुछ छोटी 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 आते रह जाती है बस यादे